hello everyone today I'm going to do another quick instructional video on how to put together different images say taken with um, HA filter or um, red green blue filters and turning them into a final colour image now I myself have a colour camera and haven't done much narrowband myself so done a quick Google search and I've come along the um, Astro Bin public data pools and I've just downloaded a sort of set of data which for, is by user cgome004 and it's M106 in LRGB plus HA. So I've downloaded the images, I've set my um, working directory as M106 Astro Bin and I'm just going to I'm assuming that everybody has knows how to stack um, different filters in APP I will do another video on that at some point but it's just too in depth to cover everything in one video so assuming that you've stacked everything correctly you should you should get different images for each filter and then you can go to the combine RGB um, module in the tools tab and you click add and then you select all your files now if they've been stacked by APP they'll look a little bit different to this so you click open and if your setup re uh, records metadata then it may know already which channels to assign them to so this one knows that M106B is, is, this, is the blue image so I'm just going to keep clicking OK because it knows and you might be thinking OK why is there a black screen so what we need to do is first click calculate so it's creating a temporary RGB image. Now, what you then need to do, it it's only usually mixes the red, green and blue channels. So you, then you need to go in and add the HA and luminance yourself. So I want to add the hydrogen alpha to the red channel. So I'm going to put that in completely red. 100% and I'm going to click calculate see we've just got a little bit more detail there keep clicking you can see those areas of uh, star creation in the galaxy I'll just zoom back out again and the luminance I want to pile in luminance 100% I'm going to click calculate again. See the image has changed again. Now I'm just going to have a quick look at the other sliders. So blue has already assigned itself to blue 100%, green has already gone to green 100%, and red at the bottom has already gone to red 100%. So PixInsight has something called pixel math where you can put the formula in where it no you can tell it how much of each image you want to assign to different channels. This is essentially the same except with sliders. So once that's done you click create and you need to tell it to save. And then it will save and you can click cancel and if we just turn expand my file list a bit it will be other process RGB composite and then we can go about editing so what I tend to do is quite a strong stretch I doubt that I'll need it on this data this is data that I've never looked at before literally just downloaded it so let's take that stretch down just a touch that's better 
So I think 15% background, 3 sigma and 2.5 base is a good start. And then you can do all the different things that you want to do on it, such as neutralising the background. And calibrating the background, because that's calibrating the background is important for star calibration, which we'll do in a moment. So once again, just draw in a few boxes in areas of the image which don't really have any detail in them. Click calculate. You won't notice much of a change unless there's a serious um, in the, uh, problem with the background. So just click OK and save. And then I'm just going to click on RGB Composite 2. That's my new one. I'm going to click Calibrate Star Colours. notice things were a lot quicker than on my other videos because I've now got a new computer. I'm just going to select a few stars. With which to calibrate. OK and save. And now really you can just tweak the sliders to taste. So for example controlling the highlights for example, the centre of the galaxy, that's too much. The galaxy has many stars, so it should have a glow. Saturation. Let me bring that down just a touch. saturation threshold now that's what what you, that is is if you bump this saturation up quite a bit you can inject color noise into the background this helps control it so I'll just leave it there contrast I'll just increase it just a touch see any kind of effect not a lot and sharpness so I'm just going to take that up this I tend to try and be a bit conservative with this sharpness because it can affect the um, the stars but in case you do want to bump it up a bit this protect slider can help stop sort of artifacts around those star edges and if we zoom in have a look I'd be quite happy with that image and um, I think I'd just take it into Photoshop to give it a general crop and maybe a final sort of curves adjustment but to be honest, I'd, I'd be quite happy um, sharing that image as it were, per se. So I hope that's been helpful because I know a couple of people have been a bit confused about how to, once they've stacked all their different images from, with the different filters, they're a bit confused with how to actually get the final RGB image at the end. So thanks for watching and look out for the next video.